In business news, remaining healthy and fit is important throughout our lives. But one could suggest even more importantly for feeding and topping ears, it is concerned that the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry is reiterating the need to create an enabling environment where individuals can be empowered uh, to address managing stress in health and productive ways. President of the LCCI said this at a talk with Theme Health Talk Work Today, understanding stress and its implication on health. The LCCI boss said it is necessary to keep fit with the fast-paced world where the demand of businesses and modern life can always be overwhelming. We want our business people, our members in particular, and all others to know that exercise is very, very important. It will help you to take away a lot of diseases in your, in your system, to also make you strong, to make you energetic, and prepare you for your business the following day. A healthy body is a body that can run businesses. A sick body cannot run businesses. And a body that is dead can't be alive to run the business. So we must do all we can to keep alive. We are a very stressed people because we never have time for exercises. So part of the 135th anniversary is to get people to move to exercise themselves because we believe that that way they can reduce stress. As a business organization, as the voice of the organized private sector, we want to ensure that business people um, have opportunity to move themselves. And this um, program is also to be able to share knowledge um, so they can learn a few things to do on their own. Away from that, Niger's new military junta has closed their country's airspace for an indefinite period, citing the threat of military interventions by West African states after deadline set as passed without the restoration of outstead precedent. On our flagship business show, Business Nigeria Managing Partner Aglo Aviation Support Services Limited, Mr. Tayo Ojuri, highlighted the implications of this move on the entire airspace. Lots of aircrafts coming in from Europe or wherever they're going down south I now have to bypass those airspaces as mandated, even with bilateral agreements in enforcement. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, during war or the time of that the peace has been threatened, you find out that this has to be the way. So how does this affect airlines? There's going to be a lot of wear and tear, and we've actually started seeing a lot of airlines taking a heat taking a hit in the, in, the, uh, in the sense that you had South African Airways yesterday going out. They had to stop in Lagos for a technical stop. They have to take extra, they come up here, take some fuel so that they can divert. There are alternative routes, but it's just a longer route to the, their location. So they have to take stop, a technical stop, to fuel up to continue, which is more money higher cost of operation, and someone would have to pay for it. Mr. Tayo Jury there earlier today. Well, to this story now, where a British pharmaceutical company with global links, that's Glatno Speak Line, is preparing grounds to leave Nigeria, given reasons bordering on operational difficulties. In this report, F. Young Ekop examines key issues in this development. Smith Line, a global healthcare products manufacturer listed at the Nigerian Exchange, last week notified the market of intention to delist its equities from the exchange. GSK takes advantage of the window of voluntary exits to quit the markets. On a larger scale, the company prepares to leave the entire Nigerian economy. GSK produces some popular healthcare products like Lugazet, Ribena, Marklins, Panadol, Andrews Liver Salt, among others. Pharmacies, Hospitals and households have come to depend on this product range for healthcare needs. At the stock market, discussions on GSK exits are endless. Shareholders talk about their investments in the healthcare company. Because when you look at GSK, you know that um, it's a very big company and it has been listed here on the exchange for many, many years. And when you look at the sector in particular where it operates, we are talking about health sector, uh, it's a very, very important sector. And for such company to be leaving the soil of our country, 
uh, it, it throws much more questions to be answered. So it's been very, very challenging, and um, um, I'm not happy about it as a person. And I'm no, and I know that um, clearly that um, uh, the market will feel the impact. GSK has complained about the functionality of the Nigerian economy. The forex issue seems to be key. Company managers, though very unwilling to speak on camera, point to inability to repatriate profits due to dollar scarcity. Again, policy inconsistencies draw down GSK ability to bring in production materials, a senior worker at Ilupeju office said. The company has a large register of Nigerian shareholders. In combined estimation, local investors hold 52.6% of the company's shares, contributing huge capital for running the business. They've promised that they've made adequate provisions in terms of settling those uh, shareholders. I know that uh, they may have going to be a series of um, maybe extraordinary general meeting uh, for them to get approval. And I'm sure that um, our regulators are on top of it. The Securities and Energy Commission will ensure that um, the shareholders, especially the minority shareholders, are well taken care of. By every interpretation, this development is negative. Nigerians need employment at this time. We also need good drugs and vaccines, the types that GSK produced. It may be a wake-up call on the government to critically examine the holdbacks to manufacturing businesses in the economy. If young Ecop TVC News, Lagos. And the stock market dipped again in midweek trade following sustained losses by companies. The index dropped by a large percentage of 1.75%, showing losses on investments. Heavy price losers were multiverse. Last one, John Holt, Dangote Cement and Universal Insurance. Class of deal gainers. The window opened for Omatech Computers, gaining insurance, tantalizes, Abbey Building Society, and TIP. And wrapping up business, according to a filing on Boston Federal Court, Meta Platform has settled a lawsuit brought by an artificial intelligence startup that accused the tech giant of stealing its trade secrets. Plaintiff Neil, Magic, and Meta said... They, uh, they have resolved the case on confidential terms and asked the court to dismiss it uh, with prejudice, which means it cannot be refiled. Some very much uh, based neuromagics investors include VMware, Comcast, Verizone, and venture capital firm Anderson uh, on a lawsuit. Chief Executive Officer of Neuromagic, Mr. Brent Stevens, said the company looks forward to focusing 100% on applying our uh, core technologies. That's business news. Next is sports. Stay with us.